In today's video, we're going to be talking about waist cycling shorts versus bib cycling shorts. So if you're new to cycling, you may have asked yourself this question, which one is better, which one should I get? And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the advantages and disadvantages of both types of cycling shorts. Cycling shorts can make your ride a lot more comfortable, especially on longer rides. For a beginner who's just getting into cycling, I would recommend the regular waist style cycling shorts. They're really simple to work with, you just put them on like normal shorts and you're ready to go. There's no extra straps that you need to worry about, so they're lighter, they're cooler on the summer days, and they're also a little bit less expensive usually. But the main disadvantage of these types of shorts is there's usually a waistband around the top part, and that's meant to keep the shorts on your body so it's not moving when you're getting out of the saddle. And that can be a little uncomfortable if it's a little too tight and you get too tight of a size. And that can put pressure on your stomach so it makes breathing a little bit more difficult. But if you get the right size, it's usually not much of a problem and I never really notice it myself. The other disadvantage of these shorts is it stops right at the waistline. So if you're riding with a really small jersey or your jersey starts to ride up a little bit, uh, your stomach or your back might show a little bit, which doesn't look that great. But there is one last big advantage that makes up for all of these negative points and that is going to the bathroom is very easy. So with bib shorts we have these extra straps which are underneath your jersey so every time you need to stop and go to the restroom you need to take off your jersey and then pull down the straps and then you can do your business. So it is a little bit of a hassle when compared to the regular cycling shorts. And with this extra material, it does add a little bit of extra weight, but the advantage is it moves the pressure away from your stomach, and then it makes the support go up to your shoulder. So if you have some nice wide straps like this, you don't really feel any pressure and it's really comfortable. And because the material goes up beyond your waist point, you don't have to worry about any fashion issues with your stomach or back showing, and so nothing gets exposed there. And with this extra support on the shoulders, there's very limited movement on the shorts, so the position of the chamois doesn't change at all and it's comfortable whether you're out of the saddle, whether you're sprinting, whether you sit back down and move around a lot. So the position never changes, you look really comfortable, and you look really broke. So if you're doing a lot of mountain biking, or long rides, or getting into racing, I definitely recommend going with the more serious bib shorts. You'll appreciate the consistency with the position of the chamois and not having to worry about that while riding. And for anyone else, I recommend going with the waist cycling shorts like these. These are actually what my wife prefers, so she's always riding with these waist cycling shorts from Santic. And I also use these a lot when I do my indoor rides, just because it's a lot simpler to work with and I don't need to go through the hassle of using the bib shorts. But anyway, both shorts have their advantages and disadvantages, and you just need to find what works for you. Let's get out there and ride! <laughs> 